I don't know how you say this guy's name, but um, municipal, maybe. Uh, I guess how he says now. He says, I've been saying this for a while. I've been getting a lot of kickback from him in the Slack, but he's saying that $20 an hour is not enough for one person. He said he works three jobs, and we're going to watch a video of him explaining it. Um, if there's language in it, I apologize ahead of time. I really didn't get a whole bunch of time to edit it. I kind of had to just pull it while I just saw it. I think he just released it a couple of days ago. So uh, let's take a look at the video real quick. Good job. It's Monty back at y'all with another vid. So look, gang. I know it's been a minute and I haven't posted. I know. Your boy been grinding. I've been working, which is what we about to get into. Just to update y'all. So look. I work three jobs and I hate it. No, he said he worked three jobs and he hated it. I would too. Because it seems like you'll probably never have enough time in the day to do anything. So let's keep watching. But here's why. The average person that's working is probably getting paid between 15 and $30. Most um, I'm going to say average person i know here in little rock probably between 15 to 20. 30 you doing all right you actually at a point where you can kind of be stable if you manage you budget and live a a lifestyle that's uh sustainable and not nothing crazy you're trying to boss out but living a lifestyle of uh humble or just being managing your finances and not living beyond your means so Most people are getting paid under $20. The way inflation yeah. is, bro, I don't yeah. see how anybody is surviving with families, kids, taking care of parents with on a on a average daily uh, on a hourly basis, $20 an hour isn't enough for one person. Um, I've been saying this on a podcast talking to uh, my brothers about it. Um, they saying a person can make it. You got a, a young guy right here saying it's not enough. What I'm saying is the only way you can make it enough is you have to scale back so much. Like you almost everything has to be calculated. I know some people say you, you don't want to live by a calculator, but when you're uh making twenty dollars an hour, those uh you gotta run the numbers because you don't have a whole bunch of uh breathing room to make errors and mistakes, or it could cost you. Uh, it can cause you to, uh, in between checks, it can, it, you don't want to make those kind of, your margin for error is very slim. So think about that. He's saying $20 and not enough. $20. That's, that's, that sound insane, don't it? I work three jobs. I'm going to my second one now. I get paid $22 and 50 cent at that job. My other, my second warehouse job, I get paid eighteen fifty. But after the night shift, it it differentiates. It, it's like a different price, so I get paid like twenty some dollars max, right? But then my third job, I'm a sound engineer now, so I work in a studio on the weekends. I get paid thirty five dollars an hour over there. Now add all that up, and I'm sitting here telling y'all it's still not enough. That's that sounds crazy, don't it? But it's the truth. Because look at it like this. If I quit these jobs, one job is not enough. Two jobs is not enough. $30 is starting to become the new minimum wage. So, why? I want to ask you this. Let me know in the comments. Why do you think what he's saying, he's saying is not enough. He got to work three jobs. And he's saying 30 is not enough. What I tell you is taxes, just the uh, cost of living, gas, groceries, gas, utilities, rent will eat up so much of your money after taxes, after benefits. It will eat up so much of that take home when you get it. You, 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 you'll be lucky to have $500 left over after all the bills are paid, just 500 but then you got to start thinking about gas that eats at that 500. You got to start thinking about clothes. If, you know, 
you don't have to get clothes all the time, but definitely food and gas. Um, and groceries, man, are so much more expensive now. I mean, you could spend almost 200 just buying the necessity stuff, not even the extra stuff, just milk, cereal, eggs, bread, lunch meat, all that stuff. But when you're making that kind of uh, money, you can't splurge at the grocery store. Everything has to be calculated or it won't be enough. I'm telling you from experience. I said that 30. That's insane to say the way inflation, the way inflation is going. Thirty dollars ain't even enough. And like I told you, all there's people out here with kids, families, and they can't even take care of them on that hourly base. That's insane, bro. We talked about this on the podcast. And. Um, looking at a calculator. And I think uh, after taxes. When you're making 50. If you got a family plan of one or more kids. Wife, two kids and you got benefits. You, that may eat up twelve hundred dollars of your, uh, but before you bring your check home, they're coming out of your check before you bring it home. So, you you you're probably looking at, let's say, if you're making, um, maybe fifty or something. Um, I don't know. Um, let's say. Let's just hypothetically say 50 or 55 or something like that, 55,000, something like that, right? After taxes, after benefits, if you do 401k, all that good stuff, flexible spending and all that good stuff, you, you're doing okay if you bring it home probably 1,100 after all that's coming out. That's an estimate, like 1,100. So as an adult with kids, I would love some adults to let these uh, young people know how much does $1,100 go? How fast does it go when you get it to pay bills? You start paying your bills. You start going to the website, lights, gas, water. If you got a car note, you got to pay that. Mortgage, you got to pay that. A rent, you got to pay that. You can eat through $1,100 so fast as an adult. And I'm not even talking about splurging. I'm just talking about paying bills, paying for the car, and then don't let the extra stuff pop up. Car need brakes. Kids need some more clothes because they're growing, so their shoes get smaller. All this stuff can get fact the detail stuff. That's the kind of stuff, man, that – don't get talked about a lot. It's the detail stuff around being an adult. And then you want to have a family. Now you add more details that you got to attend to as a, as a man or if you're a husband, as a leader of the house. You got to attend to the details more, more details to attend to. So let's keep watching. But I understand that I have to work all these jobs to get to my destination because I know I want to be my own boss. That's why I got to stack this money. You got to get it how you can get it, bro. I've been telling my cousin to sacrifice the summer, come up with a game plan, and lock in, bro. Lock in and get to your destination. Man, I'm trying to get there now. I understand. Keep looking at that destination. Keep having that hunger in you. That's going to fuel you. You feel me? The game plan might fail, but don't change the destination because your game plan failed. Keep the destination in mind, change the game plan, and reroute the game plan to get to the destination. You feel me? So, shout out to, uh, I think his name is Municipal. I think that's his name. Shout out to him, man, for making this video, man, and saying that uh, he think that it's not enough. Man, shout out to him for making that video. So, my next question is, what is a strategy that you can recommend to him or anybody in this situation that could help him elevate more efficiently. What are some of the things? Let me know in the comments what you think. What are some of the things that you can ask and help him elevate and level up?
Let me know in the comments what you think. What I will say is, but I don't know how old this young brother is. Um, and I will say explore all the options. I know he said he's doing sound engineering. I know he said he works at a factory. So we're going to move over to this next slide. <laughs> 